we're going to go to the state capitol where the father of Toby Stengel is now giving a statement. Let's listen. Had, uh, hit bottom and is on the upswing here. So we're, again, that's uh, equally surprising. When he was in a, when was he in a drug treatment program? Can you tell us about that? He sir? still is in. He was still in one at the time, uh, one on Sand Island. Okay. Was it a residential program that he was doing? No, he was in and out uh, or outpatient. But he'd go down there um, six days a week. So, again, we thought he was on the upswing. How often did you have drugs or drugs? He's had a history of all sorts. When you first heard the news about what had happened, you must have gotten a phone call. What, what went through your mind, sir? We, well, there was a lot of tears. My wife and daughter and mother-in-law just, we were. At first, you think this can't be true, and and of course, they were, the the reports weren't accurate. Uh, not that that was any better, but uh, we pretty much bottomed out. You know, you just. There's no words, you know, just, yeah, and if we especially feel for these three families that um, they're innocent, you know, they, they're going about their daily business. This, um, they should have never been affected by this. So. Can you talk about uh, why he didn't go on the vacation? Was there any reason that he stayed in Hawaii? Um, yeah, he was in the... All right, and that uh, is uh, Mike Stang Stangle, that is the accused shooter, Toby, Toby Stangle's father speaking. We'll have more for you tonight on that on our 10 o'clock news.